Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tamriel. Welcome to... Hold on one sec. Okay, good. And record. Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Tamriel. Welcome to another episode of uh, Collect the Wise in Guild Wars 2. Hope you enjoy the green screen right here. Hello, I'm part of the game and there's Colette and behind me should be chat, I think. And there's Colette over there. I should be pointing in her direction, I think. I'm not 100% certain. I'm still getting used to this thing, so I should be pointing in her direction. Anyway, Welcome to Guild Wars 2, a little bit additional of green screen to take out the face cam and stuff like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and start off by opening up some of these login rewards. We got, I believe, some laurels in this one, and in this login reward, we have chest of bank line goods, or black line goods. Let's look at this stuff. Laurels, okay, and black line goods, instant repair canister. Now that is wonderful, I'll go ahead and take that. My wallet out over here, my laurels. Earn through login rewards, spend in major cities used to purchase valorous um, rewards. Then we got Battles of Honor, Transmutation Charges, we got a bunch of cool stuff. Uh, 10 Transmutation Charges is not that bad, actually I'm pretty happy with it. Anyway, uh, the UI looks a little weird, I was messing around with it a little bit, and I was working for doing something for a video on the side. You should be able to see it pretty soon. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and begin. But now some males. You are the best from Rana Fireheart. Hi Them, you are the best YouTuber imaginable. You actually communicate with your subscribers by inviting them to the guild. Keep it up from Nick. You're welcome. I'm glad you enjoy. Also, let me go ahead and invite some of the people that are on. First, let me go ahead. Okay, everybody is in. Whoever was not invited to the guild, I want to make sure go through guild invite. Uh we just go from the top of the list. Usually I just go invite uh, the people that are currently online. Uh, that are on so that I can you know get them in but from time to time I'll just sit around and see if I can invite a couple people some of them will not be able to you know get in the guild since already they're already part of several guilds already but if I can send them an invite every now and then you know I'll go through and send them an invite because everybody is welcome you know we want to welcome everybody in but hey yeah welcome to the guild and uh, thank you so much for your very 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 kind words thank you Guild from Random Fireheart. I think I'm speaking in all the guild's words. When HOT comes out, we can can we set up a specific time and date so we know when to come on and claim the guild hall with you uh, and the rest of the guild. Yeah, around the, around the time when you know Heart of Thorns is gonna be coming out, we'll set up something on the calendar. We'll set up something, some kind of schedule, maybe like a live stream schedule or something. Where we'll you know set up and do something guild related or set up the guild hall, whatever. We'll get something. Uh, we'll get something together. I'm 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 pretty certain of it. From Blonde Best Shot, Ranger Attack Speed. Hi, I'm a new alt on Hoblon Ranger Blonde Best Shot. A human ranger Hoblon is a known ranger. Today, 11.20 AM, 13.7.2015, I was playing this character and noticed how much faster I was attacking now, but I know you have a ranger as well, as Khaled, so I thought I'd mention it. Just so surprised how much faster I'm throwing axe, the longbow speed is, and the longbow is... I'm using is at level 0, Vitality Bow 146, 171 damage, and Vitality Axe 135, 6, 130, 156 damage, and Vitality Horn level 8, 142, 157 damage, and oh my god, attacking so fast. Yeah, Rangers have a pretty fast attack, I noticed that as well. Uh, let's go ahead and continue the next letter from uh, Blonde Best Shot. Hi, in video 49, show mentioned you can't mail to yourself anymore. In fact, you can, but not in the same account, is what he means. If you have two accounts and you... Uh, as you do and uh, as you and I do and can mail with other characters items that aren't solo account bound and messages you want to remember so all you need to do is check your other account mail later you could try that hop long yeah I will try that definitely I, I think I I think I tried mailing my, myself before any other account I just hardly ever get on my uh, other account because I usually you know I usually get on this account to the less place and I flood around to other games so I don't usually do uh, get on the other account as often from mail. One more thing I forgot to mention, having two accounts, you get a bank for each account so you can store stuff in the other account. That is an ingenious idea. I really should start doing it. Thank you for letting me know. Uh, in the other account bank, when you sp when your space is in your main account bank is full, send lower or higher level gear to the other account to put in the bank, for example. That is a great idea. You know, I'm gonna start doing that. Thank you so much. I, I completely forgot I could even do that. Phone blonde, tan, sexy, level 80 and 50. Hi, Colette. Today, me and my other class characters did the PvP dailies and and we were able to gain tons of knowledge to make a long story short, I blonde, tan, sexy, sexy pronounced, sexy abbreviated, used three tomes and hit level 80, and Aussie blonde mesmer used the other three and hit level 50. So now on this Mistress Lay 2401, I now have four level 80 tan blonde, sexy Aussies, Aussie blonde mesmer, blonde sexy ranger, and green deathbringer. Very, very, very um, the green deathbringer name just kind of stands up on its own compared to the first three. <laughs> Last video of Colette, I saw 
show you level you level 69 very soon you'll be level 82 please show that i will show me becoming you know the level level uh what is it called what's going on mouse something's going on okay maybe it's just the way i clicked i don't know maybe i need to get a new mouse or something who knows uh this is good i want to want to be sure everything is right in order uh, just stick this right here, I guess. I'll put all the repair gear. There we go. Eh, we could probably stick it like this. There we go. This will work nicely. I have nine tomes of knowledge. Technically, I could spend them right now and get myself to level 78 and just gain two more levels. But I want to save those things for later. If anything, I'd rather just go ahead and save those tomes that I have, the nine tomes, for other characters that I play. So, you know, I don't. I can just level this character to 80 and have the whatever tomes I have, send them all to other character, level that character up and everything. But I have nine tomes to spend. So I'll have plenty of times to use the tomes. Crafting level. High Colette and all alts of Colette weighs Aussie Blonde Mesmer, Aussie Asurus Mesmer Alt. Here I've reached level 51 yesterday, level 50 and today gained two levels crafting. I got high enough, 178 points in Art of Fire. And this level I can craft the Bandit Weapon, Staff, Scepter, Trident, Focus, which are level 35. So let me know what characters, uh, what level your other characters are. And if you can use them, I'll happily make a... A few for you. I currently do not have anybody, any other character that's around level 35, but when I do, I'll let you know. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the uh, the weapons and the hookup. I really do. Hi, Colette. I remember someone on one of your mail mentioned you should explore more of the other races there. More of the other races area. Just want to let you know how to access them. As you've already been in Lance Arc, you see, you will see there that are portals. Yeah, I know about the portals. I know how to get to them. Uh, the Grove, Char, Black Citadel, and of course, the Sewer and Rat or something. I, I know how to travel to other capital cities. And I will eventually do it. But I want to wait until I'm a little bit, like, at least I'm a little in low 70s and do it off screen to get a little bit of low boost. So, you know, because I mean, Having me run around Capital City is probably not going to be that exciting. I mean, I ran around Lance Arc, but it was new for everybody. Having me run around Capital Cities, since everybody else already seen them, it's going to be a little boring, I think. But thank you, dude. I will, I will make sure to explore the cities. You can get all the vistas and skill points and other races, too. Skill points, uh, yep. I'm going to have to go ahead and do that. So thank you so much for reminding me. I'm, I'll, I'll go through and do that. For now, let's go ahead and continue with the main story that i got to be here. The Battle of Claw On. Right now, I need to go... Let's see, travel to the Grove and meet... Treharn. Treharn. I need to go over there. Light and darkness. Oh, wait. Is that outside? Probably yeah, is outside. Hold on. Let's check which level this thing is on. I have to go right over here. Light and darkness. Is this probably on the highest level possible, right? It's not highest level. It's on second highest level. There we go. That's where I gotta go. I'm gonna travel to this place right here. I think from here I get to the grove. Lance Arc Sewer Gate. Yeah, there we go. Sewer gate, and now from the sewer gate, I'll go over to the grove. There we go. Look at that. I'm gonna be able to use the uh, the teleports to go to other places. I'm still on the main quest for level 60. Gonna be doing level quest uh, the main quest level 70 as soon as I turn 70, or I'll just wait until later on time when you know I gain a little bit high level and explore other areas. Because mm. as fun are th the main quests are real fun, but doing them back to back to back to back to back and just completing them all gets you know gets a little repetitive and sometimes i just want to you know just explore walk around look at new things look at new places not just fight a bunch of bosses you know as much as i do enjoy doing like the main quests sometimes exploration is very much needed because it's just nice to be able to explore the grove there we go let's go into the grove the grove actually to me is very it looks really pretty but at the same time it's extremely confusing like figuring out which vines get you up and down it's going to take a while for me to get used to but at the same time, when it comes to any MMO, it's going to take a while for me to get used to, like, anyway. Alright then, uh, first thing we should do is actually go get the waypoint up there. I see that waypoint, I kind of want to get it, so I think I will. And I think there's also a vista, which I'd like to try at. You know, I mean, we are already in the capital city, we might as well just tour around, just explore a little bit. Gain this little speed boost, uh, drink the nectar, and now we're fast. Yay! That's pretty awesome, actually. I want to go up there, and you know, we we are touring around. We're tourists here, so it only makes sense for us to go do some more little yeah, sideline explorations. And around level seventy, we also get the personal story chapter seven. At level seventy-one, we get third core specialization slot, uh, sixteen heal points at seventy-one as well, and then we will get something called ascended gear at level seventy-nine. Now, this place, if I remember correctly, uh, my very first character was actually a. Uh, a Silvari, so I remember doing this. I remember doing this the first time when I could. Yeah, I just saw what I was like, I gotta do this. I have to give it a try because this looks actually really fun. So I want to give this a go and see if I can do this real quick. 
There we go. I got a f I got it took me like, I don't know, 10 tries before I could nail it down. Uh, this jumping puzzle. Well, not really much of a jumping puzzle, but this, I guess, small little parkour challenge, I guess you can call that. It took me about 10 tries before I could fully nail it down because I would just constantly fall off or I just constantly run ahead. I, I, this speed boost is kind of, you know, hindering me. Can I take it off? No, I can't. Kind of have to stick with it. <laughs> That kind of sucks. All right, well, nevertheless, we were able to get to our vista. I believe our first vista of the grove. And so far, I kind of like these mosaic things on the side. I like them. They, it's like mosaic glass, but, you know, in a tree. And the tree itself, it doesn't it's not it doesn't really resemble much of a tree. It's like a, it's like a flower going out, you know, going up and out. I would like to see how tall this thing actually, like, really is. Looks like it keeps going up and up and up or something. I would like to actually explore it sometime. Can we teleport? No, we can't even teleport down. So I guess let's go ahead and uh, see if we can get down here without breaking our tiny little certain feet. Let's go ahead and go like that. There we go. And we're down. Awesome. Can we cross over this way? No, I probably can't. Oh no, there's a walkway right over here. <laughs> I'm trying to cross over in a tree. See, I'm talking about these things, the mosaics. Now, I don't know how they did it, but they look really cool. It's like, it looks like glass mosaic, but when you look, come up closer, it looks like just, I don't know, it looks like it's just thin colored sheets over it or something. I, I like to think it's just glass mosaics though. Alright, so the first place we gotta get over to is actually, oh, it's actually right over here. We just gotta run over to, I believe, that pot over there, maybe? Maybe, possibly. Yeah, it looks like we gotta go to that little pod leaf over there and it takes us upstairs, if I'm correct. I think these things go upstairs. They could go downstairs as well. Let's you continue. Yep, I'd like to continue the story. A light in the darkness. Alright, let's go ahead and finish up this chapter uh, and then We'll just move on from there and just see where it takes us. And I'm thinking we could either continue going near like the shoreline where we were before, or go somewhere else when it comes to exploring. So, something over here. There we go. Meritari's table. Oh, look at that. More mosaics like that. That's kind of cool. Got more mosaics. And that is Avatar of the Tree. We seek your wisdom. Bide a while. I have much to show you both. Come to me. Let me show you the way. We've been shown the way. All right then. Mother Tree, I am sure by now you have heard of the destruction at Claw Island. Zaitan is attacking in force. The soul of Tyria mourned as her children were cut down by the beast. The land wept and the world shuddered. My friend and I seek to right that wrong. We wish to fight Zaitan. And take back what was lost. We've come to ask your counsel. The answer is at the heart of Tyria's future, and your own. Both of you must face the darkness, become guiding stars in the night. Is it even possible to defeat Zaitan? Only with great courage. Come, I will show you a vision of your future, and the challenges to come. Friends, your future awaits. Whoa, we have to go into the future. All right, then. Uh, all right, everybody get ready. We gotta back up, we gotta speed up to 88 miles per second or miles per hour. If for any of you to get reference, uh, good job for you. But if you don't, look out back to the future and go. <laughs> oh, we don't even jump, or oh, we gotta just touch it and travel. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa okay. We going places. We going places, and I don't know. What, <laughs> I don't even know where the hell are we going. And foul place. Even though I have been here, in truth, this vision is uns. Let us hurry. The pale tree has lessons yet to be revealed. Ah, the pale tree through the vision of war. Can I? Can I explore at least? A risen noble. Another risen noble. Human gods lived in the city of Ara, and the people here were blessed. After the gods left, the humans banded into guilds and warred upon each other. The guild wars caused great devastation, and nations faltered. The guild wars... Guild wars, yeah, that's probably the reference to... Maybe the first game, I think. Possibly. There's an abomination, we're not gonna touch it. I'm gonna stay away from any spirit things, simply because i just rather not bother with them. No matter if they look like they're in a dress or whatever. This place looks very... Very toxic, 
anything. It's very foggy, very difficult to see. It's very unsettling. It doesn't look like a place that anybody could live in, really. At least I don't think I could live here. <laughs> place, especially with all the ghosts around, just doesn't look like a good environment. There's the avatar of the tree, let's follow her. Where do we go, Avatar? Where does this road lead, Mother? To the ancient city of Arar, the dragon stronghold. That is your goal. Along the way, you will glimpse things that may yet come to pass. Hmm. Alright. Onward to the city of Arar. Part of me kind of wants to just run around and explore for a bit, and part of me wants to stay on track. And just not go anywhere else. <laughs> But, whatever. You know what? Let's just follow the road, see where the road takes us. Oh, okay. That's an enemy. I saw something floating around. I didn't know what it was. I was like, oh, what is that? And turns out it's an enemy. Well then. Isn't that just absolutely wonderful, right? There we go. Let's go ahead and keep doing damage to it from afar. We do a lot more damage and it just ramps up damage. It's pretty awesome, actually. I like that. Alright, Risen Bull over there. Looks like we're gonna have to fight it. And Risen Chicken. Let's see if we can avoid any of this, some of these enemies actually. Looks like this is actually making us stay on the road in order to avoid any conflict. Hello. Hello, hello. Back up please, I beg of you. Hello, hello. Trying to somewhat make a song. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright then. Uh, nah, -uh, nah. -uh. Nah, -uh, floating weapon. Let's not do that stuff. And uh, what's your name again? Jesus, Triharn? Yeah, Triharn. Triharn? I don't know. Triharn? I don't know. I'm gonna say it awkwardly every single time. Uh, let's not get away. That's a weapon. I see that weapon on the ground. It's gonna try to attack us. Come on, weapon. You know you want it. You know you want it. At this point, let's back away a little bit. There we go. There we go. How the clones do some damage to it. And there we go. That's what we needed. Can I? Wait, actually, no. Let's go ahead and talk to him. Let's figure out what the hell is going on here. Hurry, Khaled the Wise. The Mother Tree cannot maintain the shard of the dream for very long. I must press onward. Is this truly what Or is like? I have studied Or for many years, and I know these paths as if as if they were on the Kaldon. I have another question. Uh, where is Zaitan? Zaitan commands his minions from the blasphemy and tarnished city of Ara, far to the south. All right then. So I'm guessing that's why we go into Ara because we're trying to see like where. What Zaitan is really doing out here. Let's go talk to the mother tree. Come on, there we go. These creatures are formidable. Tougher than the ones at Claw Island. How will we defeat them? Alone you cannot. But with unity, you will find that many impossible things can be achieved. Unity, huh? Kinda wanna check out what's over here. Hello? Anything that's gonna kill us, please don't kill us. I'm just exploring. Nope, we're not gonna we're not gonna explore this way. I think like if we're gonna just fall down, we're gonna, you know, encroach on like some zombie dragon territory and we're just gonna have to fight a bunch of zombie dragons. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to go through there. This place is like a crossbreed between a desert, a swamp, and a graveyard. That's literally what it kinda makes me think of. Let's go through here. Okay, we got some uh machine looking turrets that's a good sign civilization right right Defenders of here. Tyria, when Zaitan rose from slumber the dragon found a long dead nation and claimed it the dragon expected the rest of Tyria to be as easily conquered but we live and we breathe and we fight all races all orders and all paths of life stand against Zaitan. The dragon is a fearsome enemy. He wants nothing more than to paralyze us with doubt. But I tell you this, we are not afraid. We will never kneel. Do you feel that? The dragon hears us. To Arar and victory. Let's not fight a dragon. Vision of the future? Mother, I do not understand. I'm no general. You must be what Tyrion needs you to be, my son. You have more courage than you realize. And we attack. 